This discussion is about number systems and uh, the conversion of binary numbers to decimal. And uh, we want to highlight that uh, before we go talk about these uh, conversions, we want to mention that uh, hexa and octal number systems provide a suitable representation of binary numbers and other codes that are used to represent alphanumeric characters. And therefore, we there is another format, floating point, which is used to represent numbers, and we highlighted them in the previous uh, class. We said that the floating point provide a larger dynamic range compared to the fixed point number format. And we saw that uh, the binary number system uses only two symbols, 0 and 1, and it is a positional scheme. And this means that each symbol in the number has a weight that is dependent on the position of that uh, that symbol and we came across this example of uh, 1 2 3 and we said that uh, 1 2 3 is a decimal number that 1 is in position of hundreds 2 is in position of tens and 3 is in position of ones and we were able to, see, to show that the value of this number in decimal format is represented by the addition of the tens, hundreds and the ones. So again this slide just summarizes what you have said that the least significant digit is represented as 10 to power 0. We normally say that uh, 1 two three this is if this is a decimal number which is represented by base 10 this is the base then we normally list the 10 by power 0 10 to power 1 and 10 to power 2 these are the ones we call hundreds we call this one tens and this we call this ones and therefore we are saying that the least significant digit has positional weight of 10 to power 0 and we will see how this plays out we talk about the digital number system because since this is now base 10 the binary number will have binary uh, have we have base of zero of have the base of two if the left hand digit one is referred to as the most significant digit and you'll still see that in uh, in the binary number system is the most significant digit uh, and the three is the least significant digit as mentioned uh, in this slide so the decimal number system again it has position weights of 10 and they say it to be of base 10 or radix 10 system now we want to do some some conversions and before we do the conversion we want to say now that in general we have two methods one is in which an integer decimal is converted to the binary form by repeated division of the quotient by two and we'll see that uh, in the next example so that is method one and we look at an example of uh, converting number 21 which is in base 10, you might write them like that. We want to convert it to binary number or binary number system, which is in base 2. So we are saying that the method 1 is of that of repeated repeated division by 2. So what we'll do, we just arrange them in a different format. Or we'll say that uh, now 21 is divided by by 2. So we are it. We edit it this way just to simplify the process. So we say 20 to 1 divided by 2 is equals to 10 remainder 1. You divide again by 2. This is repeated division. So we divide by 10 by 2 again. And we say that the, the answer is 5 remainder 1. Divide by, by 2 again. You get 2 remainder 1. And finally you divide by 2 again. You get our uh, one remainder zero so one we once we have this number as one we can just uh, summarize and say that uh, you take you read these numbers going from the bottom most to the top most so you can start by saying this is one the next number the most significant bit the next number is zero the next number is one the other one is one and the last one is 1. So this is how you represent 21, which is in base 10, in binary number, which is base 2, using method 1, or which is called repeated division by 2. So that is method 1. And now we look at method 2. And in this method, we say that any decimal number can be represented as follows. We just know that uh, if we have a, num a decimal number like 52, we just know that uh, the multiples of 2 takes the form 
2 to the power 0, 2 to the power 1, 3 significant being the rightmost symbol, 2 to the power 2, 2 to the power 3, 2 to the power 4, 2 to the power 5, 2 to the power 6. We can continue leftwards. What we just know is that uh, over time we get experience, we know that the highest number should be less than the number we are given, so that we know that 2 to the power 5 is at 2, the next one will be 64 because 64 is already bigger than 52 it cannot be used to represent uh, 52 therefore we will ignore this one so we can take these numbers then we represent these others the way they are represented by this one so 2 to power 4 is 16 2 to power 3 is 8 2 to power 2 is 4 2 and 1 2 to power 0 is 1 so what we want to find out is that we normally start with the biggest number that is less than the number we are given so we know this is 52 minus the biggest number which is that minus 32 we get 20 so we'll say that uh, this one will be used to represent 52 then we ask ourselves is the next number uh, is the remainder how can it be represented by the, remain, the remaining uh, symbols that is 2 to power 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. We know that uh, if, if 20 can be represented by at least 1, 16. We normally start with the maximum. So we take uh, 20 minus 16, you get a 4. And once you have take, used this 16, you can either circle it or you can uh, underline it. So you once you have taken that symbol, you say that it is going to be used. If you are not going to use it, you separate it it as zero and therefore eight can it be used to represent four no so we will not use this number therefore you will we will have a zero there but four can be used to represent this four therefore we'll say one so when you say four minus four you have zero remaining therefore you don't need any other symbol to represent 52 so we have said that 52 can be given by 52 is equivalent to that 2 plus 16 plus 4 just these numbers that we have used. We have used this one, we have used this one, we have used this one. So that is how we can represent. And therefore, we say that that 2 is going to be represented by uh, the, the power of 5, 2 to the power 5, 16, 2 to the power 4, and 4, 2 to the power 2. All the others that are lying in between this one and this one and this one, you do not use them and therefore you give them the value zero so finally 52 is represented by one one zero one zero zero that becomes the 52 to be 10 represented by binary number as one one zero one one in which is in base two